W-H-I-T-N-E-Y Who's that girl? It's Whitney Reynolds Oh, she's got a show, catch it on the weekends Every single Saturday, right at noon On Chicago's NBC 5.2 Hello and welcome to Weekends with Whitney. I'm your host, Whitney Reynolds, and we are here at the Dock and Montrose Beach. It is just a beautiful summer day. I'm loving it here. But when we think about the summer, we sometimes think about our beach bodies. And that's exactly what we're talking about today. I'm joined by Michael Moody with Revival Fitness. Now, you're actually my trainer. I am, so I get the chance to train you every week, and obviously our goal is to be bootylicious, and your legs, arms look fabulous. Oh, well, I keep so. them around for compliments, guys. Yeah. Not really. Actually, we've been working on this because the summertime, we all want to look our best, but right. there's actually a bigger issue out there whenever we talk about weight and getting in shape and all that kind of stuff. The problem with obesity. It, obesity is a problem and has been a problem over the last 30 years. Even though we've seen commercialization with different nutritional products, exercise gyms, so everything is in your face, yet the obesity rate continues to increase over the last 30 years. So Ooh. since 1970, uh, the obesity rate for adolescents and all children has gone up triple. Wow. And even worse, uh, a recent report has just stated that by 2030, almost 42% of Americans are going to be obese. So this is a serious problem. This is a problem. Is it because of fast food or what is it? I mean, is it because of that it's just easy to get our hands on things today? It's not, people aren't looking into calories so much. I mean, there could be a lot of factors. People aren't working out. Like, what are you seeing the trend is? Well, there are several trends, and obviously it really depends on the individual, but it's hard to combat the advertising and the marketing for so, a lot of products out there right. that aren't healthy for us. And now with the internet, there's so much information out there, people do have a hard time figuring out what is truth and what is fiction. What, how did you gain so much like passion behind this? Like, Was it just because you do this for a living, you train people, you want them to be them, their best self? Or is it that you're seeing a number of your clients come in that are having a problem with obesity? And then it's harder to get into the root of what, how to even you know, combat that. Well, there are a number of reasons, but the one thing that I've always been attracted to is the understanding of the person and seeing the challenges that they face trying to make this change. So plenty of people come and they say, I want to make this change today, but for some reason there are things in their life that they continue to do to self-sabotage. Uh, and I really think the root uh, of this change starts with adolescence. Right. Uh, when I was just in New York this past weekend, I had the opportunity to talk with someone from the Live Light, Live Right organization. Oh, Live Right? Yes. And okay. so over the last 10 years, they have helped adolescents, uh, actually children too, from 6 to 19, uh, make that step with nutrition and become more active. Oh, and one that. thing that's so interesting is that in their initial screenings, they have found that half the kids come in with some level of hypertension mm. and also abnormal levels of cholesterol. These are kids coming in with pre-diabetic and heart disease levels, mm. which is unbelievable. That is. I know for me as a kid, I was never allowed to drink like soda pop or anything. My mom was really actually hard on that. And so it's interesting, you know, because I think, you know, a lot of kids that I see these days, you know, they'll have like a soda in their hand or they'll have, you know, something else, you know, so, right. yeah. Well, I and obviously with kids and with sweets, we have to ask where does this mentorship come in? Where do they know where to get this food? Uh, is it based on the, the parents' model? So an organization like that in New York gives them the opportunity to learn what nutrition is really like. And not only with organizations like that, but also some of the programs that we've put together to help someone redefine themselves. Mm. And that's really the key, no matter what we're pursuing, is understanding ourselves and understanding how to truly redefine yourself. That's one thing you always say to me is you're like, Whitney, we will see more results if you start watching, you know, not, not only just working out, because you can work out all day long, but you might right. not see results. So that's for correct. me, I love my food. And yeah. being from the South, I love my fried food. So, yeah. you know, that's one of the things that you've kind of talked to me about is just watching what I put in my mouth too. Right. And to be honest, nutrition is 80% of the success that you'll see. So it's important that you put most of the focus on that. Because to be honest, we don't have time being so busy to work out five, six hours a day. Right. So this is a challenge for most people. Yeah, no, I agree. Well, coming up next, we're actually going to sit down with one of your former clients that had, was it an obesity problem or overweight and that has lost the weight? 
Yeah, and she has dealt with uh, uh, some overweight issues in the past. Uh, but again, and, and what is the line of obesity there? That's what I want to know. Like, because there's, um, you know, you can always hear the thinny or skinny, where you're really skinny, but you still could be considered overweight because of your body weight index. So where is the like obesity line? Well, that's the statistic is pretty much based on uh, the, the BMI and also body fat. So what you most commonly see in the press is the BMI. So 25% is considered overweight okay. and 30% is considered obese. Okay, and that's a very fine, that's only 5% difference. So it overweight is. to obesity, I mean, it could be right there, you know. It doesn't take much. And most people don't realize the track that they're on, oh, uh, wow. especially gaining one pound a year. And we know, especially if that starts at an adolescent level, how important it is to, to challenge that, that fitness and, and their health at that age. Right, so, to target it right then and there. Okay, Michael, where can people find out more about you? Well, they can find out more about us at RevivalFitness.com. And also on June 18th, we're starting a contest, the Redefine Yourself contest where adolescents could submit a video oh. for the chance to win a free year of personal training. A free year of personal training. Go to RevivalFitness.com? RevivalFitness.com. On and then June? On, on June 18th. And okay. then also, most important, visit our fan page, and that's where you could submit your video. Right, on Facebook. On Facebook. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, Michael. Thank you. Guys, coming up next, we're going to sit down with one of, her, one of his clients and find out how she lost the weight. We'll be right back. This portion of Weekends with Whitney is brought to you by the Perfectly Matched event. If you're looking for a great night that also gives back to a worthy cause, come out to the new rooftop at The Wit on Wednesday, June 20th for the Perfectly Matched event with star of Bravo's TV's millionaire matchmaker, Chelsea Autumn. The evening will honor some of the top charitable socialites and thought leaders in Chicago, as well as give you the opportunity to get into Chelsea's Queen of Hearts matchmaking network. Your $20 donation will get you a complimentary tequila Avion drink and a night full of fun, all benefiting Chicago's very own Safe Haven Foundation. A safe haven will help people transform their lives and match themselves with their perfect future. We will be filming live from the event, so this is your chance to be on Weekends with Whitney. For registration, visit weekendswithwhitney.com. Welcome back to Weekends with Whitney. I'm your host, Whitney Reynolds. Today we are at the dock at Montrose Beach, and we are talking about getting in shape for the summer, the growing problem of obesity, and going to break down some of the factors, how this all kind of ties together, just for the healthier you out there. I'm actually in workout clothes today because we are going to demonstrate a little bit later with Dr. Z on ways to get in shape and start working out. But I'm joined by Raina Herneman. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you for yeah, having me. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm so excited you're here because your story is so motivational. I'm sure when people are looking at you right now, she looks so good, right? You feel good? I feel good. Yeah, you look I great. You're in shape. But this wasn't always your story. No, it wasn't. I actually just recently lost 22 pounds. Um, I would say mm, I've been working with Michael from Revival Fitness for about a year now, a little bit over a year. And it was really hard because having my own business in Queen Bee Media, you just have no time for anything at, at certain points. And so trying to allocate time to work out, and then also I'm sure you know, trying to find time to eat something and make something healthy just really, really makes it a slippery slope when you it is so hard whenever, you, whenever you're on the go and you're working and you're going from A to B all the time. I always say, if one meeting lasts five minutes too long, my whole day is offset because I'm, I'm five minutes late to one thing, 10 minutes late to the next. And it's kind of like that. So to fit working out into your schedule, it can be tough, but I feel like it has to be a priority. It has to be a priority. Also, um, making sure that what you're eating and the portion control aspect of everything has been really, really huge for me. So, but just finding that time and actually Revival Fitness has been really great with that because you can actually, you can work out at times when maybe they're not as normal for right. other people, but being a business owner, you don't have the nine to five. So right. if you can slip in a workout at 6 a.m., 10 a.m., whatever time it is that you need that you don't have a meeting for right. some reason, it's amazing. So you have that hour, work it out, and you're good to go. How did you realize you had a problem? Oh, I looked at pictures, and I just realized how much I could actually eat and what I was eating, and it was just not happy. You know, I could see from where I was and when I was looking at pictures and seeing, you know, 
the multiple chins, and not just because of the angle, right, right. but the multiple chins because you actually have them there. So, um, was there ever a time that life got harder because of the 20 extra pounds? Oh yeah, you you don't want to do anything. The energy level goes down. You obviously don't feel as great about yourself when. Even even in pictures, you're looking at them, constantly criticizing yourself. Right. You know, your self-esteem goes down a little bit, which isn't fun. Everybody should be walking around with great self-esteem, thinking Holding great things about. Holding their head high. Yes. Yeah, so it definitely the motivation and things of that nature. It just it, it doesn't add any fun to your life. You know, in our first segment, Michael did mention that there's the body index, and it got 25% is overweight, 30% is considered obese. I mean, were you ever like worried about being on the obesity line? <laughs> it's funny because I wasn't, and then in knowing my body index score now, it was more, it was closer to there than I had ever thought. So, and I was probably, you know, a good 20, 25 pounds, maybe overweight, but I just think that people don't really know how actually, like how large they are in a sense. Like they yeah. don't know how close they are to that obesity factor unless they're actually paying attention and until you kind of get that wake up call and that was what that was. Going back to portion control, one thing I've heard a lot of people that they've had success on, you know, really monitoring how much they put in their mouth is writing down what they're eating. Right. So that was one thing that Michael had me do whenever I first started. He had me kind of keep a little food journal and I did not realize how much I eat. That's one thing, like, yeah. people always say, this small girl can eat, but I didn't realize it until I was writing down, for breakfast, I had this, for lunch, I had this. And so it's so interesting where if you really take time to self-evaluate, like, look at pictures. Right. Or write down what you're eating that you can really, you know, say, huh, maybe there is an issue here. Oh, and, and I had to do the same, and the food journal just had red marks all over, you know, no, you cannot eat that. What are you thinking? Or substitute this for that. And why are you eating this at this time? And why do you need to eat this many of that? Try eating that many of that. And, right. and it really does change your body and your mind. And you, you feel completely different. You I was going to say, you feel like just a new woman. You do. Oh, you do. You do. <laughs> yeah. What's been the biggest life change that you've seen? Like just that you're more comfortable in your skin. Right, and I and I always and I always had been before then, so it was definitely even more uncomfortable not having that comfort level. That is a good point. Yeah, especially if you've always been fit your whole life, and then you go through a little stage, and we all kind of go through that stage. Our metabolisms are gonna slow down. You know, it's gonna happen. It does yeah. happen. <laughs> now you're a yoga instructor now. I am a yoga instructor. That is like the full turnaround. I love your story, Raina, so much. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me. Guys, coming up next, I mentioned it earlier, we are going to sit down with a doctor to talk about easy ways, if you are overweight, just to start, you know, just with getting in the right shoes or getting into the right level of activity and how to ease your way back in if you haven't worked out in years. We're going to break that down. We'll be right back. This portion of Weekends with Whitney is brought to you by The Perfectly Matched Event. Do you want to be perfectly matched in your life and don't know how? Whether it's with the perfect significant other, perfect life, or perfect charity, come out to The Perfectly Matched with Star Bravo's TV's millionaire matchmaker, Chelsea Autumn, on Wednesday, June 20th at the new rooftop at The Wit. The event will be benefiting a safe haven foundation and is your chance to get into Chelsea's Queen of Hearts matchmaking database. Your $20 donation at the door gets you a complimentary tequila avion drink and all qualified ladies get complimentary admission into the Queen of Hearts matchmaking club. This event is from 6 to 8 and we are filming live from the entire event. There are only 200 tickets available so visit weekendswithwhitney.com now to register. Welcome back to Weekends with Whitney. I'm your host, Whitney Reynolds. Today we've been talking about easy ways that you can get in shape and slim down and stay away from the obesity line, which we found out today is very close to just being the overweight. 25% is overweight, 25% of body fat, 30% of body fat is obesity. That's a fine line. I'm joined by Yusef Zephyrkhan, and also known as Dr. Z. We'll refer okay. to you as Dr. Z here. Dr. Z is easier. Yeah, now you are a chiropractor. <laughs> Correct. Okay, yes. and you have patients all the time that come in, and you know, whenever you're overweight, it's harder to carry yourself. It's harder, you're gonna have pressure. I mean, I know for me, if I do a full day of walking, I have pressure on my knees, my ankles, and my feet. 
But if you add an additional 30 pounds to that, that's going to make it really hard. Extremely difficult. And I've got patients that are that are both fit and overweight, and you know they they both exhibit the same the same type of issues. Um, but definitely the, the the overweight crowd, you know, I'm always encouraging them to be more active, do stuff that they love to do, um, and, and just basically, you know get around to overall health and health yes. wellness. Health and wellness. I love that. How do people start? It does it start with like the right gear, like whenever we're talking about shoes. I know today I'm in workout attire. So this would be really easy for me to go for a run afterwards or something like that. But when you are thirty pounds overweight it makes it hard. Yes, it makes it very difficult. And the thing is is that a lot of times when people start to get back into working out, they they exhibit a lot of low back pains, mid back mm. pains, neck pains, they exhibit feet feet uh, problems. Uh, a lot of people that are overweight sometimes have flat feet, uh, starting to get back into uh, exercise and they begin to have pains in the bottom of their foot, often known as plantar fasciitis. Ooh. So a lot of times I'll, I'll, I'll kind of instruct patients on like, you know, possibly we should fit you for some orthotics. Oh, so you eliminate. do that? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so when you're talking about fit you for orthotics, what is that? So fitting for orthotics, uh, well, we have a couple of orthotics over here. Mm. Um, and they vary. Uh, one is particularly for workout like exercise type stuff so that's something that would go in the shoe that you're and it gives wearing. you a little bit of height there true uh and then these are kind of more dress ones okay. uh, so for dress shoes which i actually have in my shoes currently right now oh wow and basically what happens with the with the actual fitting is is we take an impression of the actual person's foot i mark down you know what's yeah wow intense right here <laughs> so i mark down you know how, how their gait looks and, and stuff like that whether their ankles are, are inverted or you know exverted right. things like that and then we send it out they get made you know that can be one them. of the most discouraging things is when someone is trying to get back into working out maybe they haven't worked out in years and then all this pain or they have yeah. an injury yeah so is that when a lot of your patients will come in and see you and you you're really able to help them get on the road like starting with the feet yes yes uh well it's total body care so it, it, it starts from the feet uh, you got the spine as well. I've got a lot of marathon runners coming in now because they're all training for the half marathon, the full yes. marathon, things of that. And, you know, they start hitting the, the two, three mile marker and they're like, my low back is killing me. Speaking you know, of what which, do we're, do? we're sitting on one of your tables. Correct. We could have him work on me right here. We're not going to. Yeah. But yeah, so you can do this, you know, when people come in. How long does it take to readjust, like if there's lower back pain? To readjust an individual, well, first I have to go through an examination. The examination, you know, uh, takes about an hour to hour and a half whether or not their x-ray is needed just to kind of get an idea of the way that the spine is positioned to see if there's any scoliosis anything of that nature i do have scoliosis and i'm a runner so it's fascinating to me because i'm sure like my mom has always encouraged me getting into swimming mm -hmm. because she doesn't feel like it would be as much pressure on the back this is true it, right. it's actually is very beneficial especially when you're incorporating all those back muscles and whatnot with swimming so are you able to implement kind of all of your knowledge whenever someone does come in maybe if they are trying to start walking and then work up to a run if they have a lot of back problems you can really guide them maybe in the right workout out. Yes, yeah, we can definitely, we can gather them in the right workout to kind of, what happens is somebody comes in with low back pains, they want to get back into in the, in the working out, and I kind of, you know, adjust them, see how they feel, they, they notice the benefits, but, you know, it's kind of a gradual process. That's right. the unfortunate thing with chiropractic is that people think it's an instant fix. Sometimes it is. We all love time. instant stuff, but it yes. doesn't always last. True. Or does it get them on the right track, especially, I think that's the biggest thing that we, we asked our Facebook fans what the most discouraging thing is whenever they go back to try to lose weight, and it's whenever they can't, they they aren't at the level they were 20 years ago yeah. or they are I mean like even for me I used to run a lot faster when I was in college well mm -hmm. now you know like my back does hurt and so it's how do we adjust to still keep that activity level up yes exactly and and the thing is is that once we do the initial exam it only takes about 15 minutes each, each visit and then we can kind of judge you know see okay yeah you had low back pain today go for a run let's see how it goes come back in and you know we kind of we kind of judge the, the treatment plan I love that. it this is gonna be really motivational for people at home that are thinking okay where do I even start yeah it can start as simple as the shoes or a back or you know if it's feeling pain they can jump right back in but it could be a slow process exactly and a lot of things a lot of times people don't realize that insurance does cover chiropractic insurance oh. does cover orthotics so so orthotics part of that too. weight part of that part of the weight of the uh, the financial part is, is is taking off people's hands if, wow. they, if they just do a little I research. love it where can people find out more about you they can uh, well the the office is located in the West Loop of the city. It's Green and Monroe, one block west of Monroe and Halstead at 825 West Monroe. Or they can find us on the website at www.bodyworkschicago.com. Bodyworkschicago.com. I love it. Hopefully people at home will get back active again. Coming up next, guys, we've talked about ways to get in shape if you're looking where to start. But now we're going to talk about eating healthy. And believe it or not, it's not your typical way. We're going to introduce you to a new food truck that is serving
bring up some healthy delights. We'll be right back. Want to be part of our live studio audience? Now's your chance. Join WIT at the WIT Hotel on Wednesday, June 20th. For more information, go to weekendswithwhitney.com. Hello and welcome back to Weekends with Whitney. I'm your host, Whitney Reynolds. Today we've been at the dock at Montrose Beach, getting in shape for the summer. I'm joined by Sarah Lieb. Welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Now, I'm sure people are thinking, okay, they have been talking about getting in shape, eating healthy, and the problem with the growing obesity numbers. And now they're eating ice cream, but this is not ice cream. No, it's this not is ice cream at all. Frozen kefir. Yes, frozen kefir. Tell us about frozen kefir and actually the food truck that you are the manager of. Okay, frozen kefir, it's a cultured dairy similar to yogurt. But it has 15 calories an ounce. 15 calories an ounce, guys. So this and, is healthy right here. Yes. And, and very yummy. And where yogurt has about two to three probiotics, kefir boasts a 10 to 12 number wow. per ounce. And it also has less fat than yogurt. Less fat, so. less calories, all that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. And you actually drive the food truck. I do drive the food truck. Okay, and what is the food food truck? A star fruit? Star fruit mobile vehicle. Okay, and tell us a little bit about that. When did that originate? It actually, this is our second season. So we just started back up again at the end of March. And we hit the streets of Chicago. We come out to the neighborhoods, the parks. So let's talk about, so as we eat this, let's talk about your different toppings. So you have all these different ones. We can actually jazz it up. Yeah, these are just the three of the toppings that I was able to bring today. Okay. We have mango, pineapple, raspberries. Wow, um, all in the truck. Yes, all in the truck. Okay, great. Yeah, unfortunately, we're not allowed to serve them like this in Chicago, okay. so they do come on the side, but okay. there's a good amount, but you can always put on less if you wanted to, if you're watching more calories. Okay. You only wanted a few chocolate chips or something like that. With all the probiotics, it actually boosts your immune system, it aids in digestion, it aids in weight loss. Um, it's 99% lactose free, so if you do have a lactose intolerance, you can eat it. Wow. And um, one of the probiotics actually colonizes the digestive system helping you break down other lactose products. I love it. So what are the different um, types that you have? I'm eating the... The original the, vanilla. The original vanilla is so good. So, and this one that seems to be melting in the hot sun mm -hmm. is our new blood orange swirl. Great. So we just came out with it about two weeks ago. How many other flavors do you have? Um, well, the Lifeway brand in the stores right here that you can see, the pints, we have 10 and mm. you can find those in Jewel's, Dominic's, Whole Foods, Kroger's, and wow. it, um, we have the Pro Bugs. Kids go crazy for those. It's whole milk kefir. Kids love them. It's a non-spill top, reclosable cap. Wow. And they're in uh, pouches so they can get every last drop out. And it's in a food truck. It is so in a now, food truck. is there a certain place and time where you go at certain times you where can, families can find you? We post our locations a week ahead of time. You can follow us at Starfruit Cafe, mm. hashtag kefir truck, and we will Always let you know if we're running late or if we can't make it or if we're going to be at a different location. I'm addicted now. I love it. And I love that like this is a healthy alternative. Well, yeah, it's great. I mean, if, you, if you're craving something like ice cream but you don't want the calories, this is definitely the way to go. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is wonderful. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for letting people know where they can find you. And what a great healthy alternative. Guys, today we've broken it down on ways that you can stay in shape, stay away from that obesity overweight line. And if you want more info on today's show, go to weekendswithwhitney.com or, of course, our fan page, Weekends with Whitney on Facebook. Also, a special thanks to the Doc at Montrose Beach. They've been wonderful today. It has just been so fantastic. They actually have a full menu out here as well. They have some healthy alternatives here right on the beach. What a beautiful place, huh? This is a great place to be. I've yeah. enjoyed being out here. <laughs> well, thank you so much for coming All on. Right, well, Guys, we'll see you right back here next weekend.